Lance is going down to put his shirt in the uh, water, the crocodile sign. Will he live or will he die? Quick, in and out, in and out. <laughs> G'day everyone and welcome back for part 3 of this epic Cape York adventure. After conquering the Wakuka track the day before, Lance and I were feeling really good and looking forward to some easier tracks to start the morning. Once again, we didn't really have an end goal for the day in terms of where we wanted to get to, but we figured we would end up somewhere around Cohen or Archer River by the afternoon. But firstly, we had to head west towards Lakefield for our first challenge of the day, which would be Cal Power Crossing. From there we would head for Musgrave Roadhouse for some fuel before a little bit of backtracking to keep ourselves off the PDR as much as possible we would instead take Lilyvale Road north on our run up to Cohen. We were both keen as to get the day started. He's off. Day three. Underway. Just had a quick look over the bike. Lance uh, lent me some chain lubes. I've chucked a little bit of that on there. Had a look over it, checked the tyre pressures. I put a little bit of air back into them after dropping them for that Wakuka track. Should be good, as far as I can tell. We're all good. But, nice little camp spot. All done. If you do come through here, I've left that little jack on the ground there. Car jack I found over near the old tractor. I used that to hit my pegs in. To this solid ground and if you look up the top there i've chucked one of my stickers on there so if any of you's come through here or camp here even uh take a photo of that and send it through to me on instagram or something tag me in a photo story let me know you've been here but we're out of there i think this might still be wakuka road but anyway we're into it let's go bit daunting but I'm pretty sure it's a concrete base so or rock at least Whew. looks daunting this one doesn't it yeah. <laughs> all right I've had a little quick look we're going goes to concrete base just here Beautiful. How good's that? From back there, it is so daunting. It looks so much worse than what it actually is. How good? That was fine. Yeah. There we go. Calpel crossing tick. To look at, it's daunting, but once you get out there on it, it's um, pretty dang easy on that concrete, concrete causeway. So no dramas there. This is where we were thinking of pushing on to camp last night. It's got showers and everything. It would have been a little bit better, but <laughs> who knows? Maybe there would have been people everywhere last night. But anyway, time for us to keep moving. Next stop is Musgrave Roadhouse. Get some fuel and hopefully bite to eat. I'm assuming it'll be much the same as the last 50 k's or so we've done, just really smooth the road stuff. 80 to 100k an hour. Just watch out for the washouts. Anyway, or oh, corrugations. Gives me a um, the data track flashbacks. <laughs> but anyway, catch you guys up the road. Old 
ruins of a grater, an old shack. Not really sure what it all is. The sign there says, I think it's Rinura, Rinura, something like that, Aboriginal community. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Lizard. Lance the Nature Man. If those guys are going the track we did on those bigger bikes, I'll have some fun. You can hear Lance coming. Get a video of him. Video me videoing him. So to make sure there's no snapping handbags here. Did ya? Yeah. Well, I put my knee top that it actually feels good. That other river crossing, I was coming in hot, that was hard, so I hit the brakes and once I locked up, I put them in store and I go into a sand trap. Just not, I just took my eyes off the road for one second and then all of a sudden... They come up quick that one, didn't it? Uh, anyway, I'm not injured, so... Good. All good. Main thing's you're alright, mate. Been on the blacktop. Here we are, finally. Musgrave Station. Here we come. Fuel for the bikes. Fuel for ourselves as well. A bit of food. Sounds good to me. Diesel? No. Diesel? No. Unleaded. Yes, thank you. So this is Musgrave Station as I said, we're both fueled up, had a bite to eat too, I got the water, bladders filled up again too, so good for water as well. It's about 160 k's to Cohen the way we're going, so unsure of how the track will go, that's why I've loaded up with more water so if we don't make it, we camp on the track uh, for the night, should have enough water for that. But yeah, as I said to Cohen, we're going back down uh, this road here, I think it's Lakefield Road that we came in on and then we go up uh, Lilyvale Road and it snakes its way sort of towards the coast and then back inland uh, to Cohen. So keep us off the PDR for now, try and avoid that as much as we can. As you can see here there's four wheel drives and caravans everywhere so traffic on those main roads is going to be busy and dusty so wherever we can keep off it we're going to try. Here comes Lance, let's go. This is Lilyvale Road, that was uh, just under 18 kilometres uh, backtracking to here from Musgrave. But we had no choice unless we filled our fuel bladders up. Maybe we could have kept pushing through instead of going to Musgrave, but we needed food anyway, so. I'll wait here for Lance to get the turn off, we'll go see what this has to offer. Service. 
Hey. All good? Yeah, this was closed, so. Oh, I'll let you pass when you come back. Right out, thanks. Now we've got to quickly get up here and get past these cars. Are you going to close it? Another gate. More gates. <laughs> Going on here. <laughs> okay, don't look over there. You might see an apprentice adventurer just uh, relieving himself. <laughs> so, if you can see the map there, down there is Musgrave. Come in, go north, just hugging the coastline there, and then we'll shoot back in up to Cohen. Just waiting at this little crossing for Lance to catch back up. We'll keep on moving. So far Lilyvale Road's been uh, pretty dang easy. It's mostly just this with a few of these little crossings. So about 80 k's in. We'll uh, see what else happens along the way. Didn't see any crocs, mate. Lance is going down to put his shirt in the uh, water. The crocodile sign. Will he live or will he die? It's quick in and out, in and out. <laughs> in and out. This sand is soft. Plenty of water about. Don't get eaten, Lance. Please don't get eaten. <laughs> that looks deep to me. What do you reckon? 
go in the mud on the side? Uh, just on that one. I can end up in that. Did you see me? Oh, no. Yeah, I ended up in there. Just then? Yeah, I just <laughs> bailed and I went off the track. Lucky it wasn't sloshed. <laughs> I'm thinking going that way. What, through here or up here? Yeah, like that way. Yeah. That just looks like it's very sloppy. Probably the best option, I think. That main track mud hole looked pretty bad. <laughs> the track and the landscape just keeps on changing. Another change of sand. That's a hard rock. But like just to look at this, it looks so dry and there's no life in it. And then get to another point, like just back where we were and there's just heaps of water. We're not too far from the coastline, it's only a couple of caves to uh, my right there, I think. But um yeah, it's just, it's cool, so much change in it. Stewart River. Yes, beautiful. He's boggy. <laughs> I know, I could see. I've got to get out of this boggy sand. So that's where we've come through, Llama Llama country. See down the bottom there, it says to Musgrave, so we've come up all that, Lilyvale Road, all the way towards the coast on the east there, and then, yeah, where it says you are here, back in there. Now we've got to head west to Cohen. So where we've been, out there in that, Flat country. It's the first hill in a little while. Lance probably won't even see me come up here. Oh, he's just over here. <laughs> there he goes. He didn't even see me. <laughs> Bye buddy, hopefully he waits at the next turn off for me. Very cool. Well, we to try and catch up to him. I haven't been able to catch him yet. I think there's a turn off up a little bit further that we're taking. And he thought I was in front, so I'm trying to catch him in case he gets there and goes a different way. And I won't know. But we're both going to Cohen, so we'll find each other at some point. Well, this is the turn off we were taking, so I hope Lance went this way and not that way. 
both roads will get you to Cohen eventually, but um, I think this way is more direct. Fingers crossed he went this way. My bad for turning off somewhere where he would not see me. behind me what the heck what's going on what where were you did, did i did i go past you anywhere hey did i go past you anywhere oh no so then i was like so i start putting the hammer down <laughs> and then i knew i had about 24k i was like where's that turn off i don't know where he is yeah but where did you go did you just take the turn no i went straight past it oh i better just i slowed right oh. down and then i did a u-turn and then as i was coming on i just saw you there Oh, lucky. So where were you? So, you know, way back where it went to Tar and it went up that steep hill? When I got to the top, I turned left. There was like a lookout. And I got up there. I thought I'd beat you and see you and you'd be able to see me. But, yeah, you didn't turn around. I'm like, oh, crap. I better try and catch him before the turn off because I was like... Oh. And then I got there and you weren't there. So I figured you'd already gone. So I was, like, going fast oh. to catch you. No, I went past it. Because <laughs> I just... Oh, lucky you turned around because, yeah, that's... That's why I didn't wait there, because I figured, oh, he must have already went down it. Oh, that worked out well. <laughs> All good. Worked out very well. Sweet. We're nearly there anyway, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Weird how things just seem to work out. rolling into Cohen. I always build it up in my head that these little townships are going to have everything I want, everything I've ever needed. <laughs> but there doesn't seem to be a whole lot here. There we go, the sex change. Eat, stay, drink. Alright, we're leaving Cohen, going to push on another hour and get to Archer River and stay there somewhere for the night, so time to do it. River Roadhouse. Here we are. Lance is already making friends with the locals. So we'll just bring our bikes around, he'll quickly pump us up and. Okay. Fill up with diesel. <laughs> we just filled our bikes up here at Archer River and also booked some camping for the night too. Uh, what is it quarter past four we're done for the day made it further than we thought we would for night three so that's a bonus legend inside the archery river roadhouse sorted us out so 15 bucks each camp down here showers toilets food all the good stuff thanks mate and uh yeah the river is just down the bottom there if we want to go have a swim in the river but if i've got showers and stuff probably don't need to This'll do. Little fire pit. Beauty. So I've left this a little bit late. It's getting dark already as you can see, so I'm not sure really what the GoPro is gonna pick up of 
camp just behind here, but Lance and I are all set up. Tents are good to go. Had dinner at the Archer River Roadhouse. Good little camp spot here to spend the night, so ready to have a good rest and then uh, kick on again in the morning and keep heading north. Another good day on the bike. Got a little bit further than what we thought we would. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow is going to be a bit of a punish in the morning on the PDR, uh, heading north up to Bramwell Station before we jump on the OTT. Hopefully there's a little bit of tarmac and it's not dirt the whole way because the dust from trucks and cars is just, yeah, it's a punish on the bike. So either way, we've got to do it to get north. But um, yeah, guys, catch us tomorrow. Keep heading north towards the OTT. A massive thanks as always for watching guys, I really do appreciate it and I hope that you're enjoying this series so far. Perfect, mate. Punch that like button straight in the face if you did enjoy this video and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel because there's plenty more of this adventure still to come. In part 4 we begin our journey along the old telegraph track, probably the most iconic track in Cape York and let's just say that there were some interesting moments along the way. Thanks again guys, ride safe and I'll see you all soon.